Section 3, Phishing Email Analysis Steps Now that we've covered the basics of phishing email analysis, let's dive into the first critical step, identifying phishing emails. Phishing emails can be challenging to spot, but by paying close attention to specific indicators, you can significantly improve your ability to recognize potential threats. Before we begin, I would like to introduce a tool to you guys. So this is Fish Tool, which is a phishing email analysis tool. And this is the dashboard of the phishing email analysis tool. So here you have manual uploads. And here you have the count for result. It's all malicious and results saved from the emails you have uploaded. And this is the analysis tab where you can analyze eml.msg and .txt message formats. Or you can just drag and drop. Here's the history. These are the files you have analyzed. And then there is in-tray, which is end-to-end -end phishing report management. And then you can upgrade. So this is the analysis tab where you can drag and drop an email here or you can choose file to upload. I will be dropping a sample phishing txt file. So this is the file. I'll move it here and then it'll upload. So this is the sample uh, file and we'll continue our analysis for. So here is the analysis from our sample file. You can see this is the source file. This was all that was in the txt file. Fish tool has decoded this source into different fields and it has all these tabs for each of the parts of the email. So now the from is no reply at example.com, to is you, that is you at example.com. It has a particular timestamp, a reply to and an originating IP address. So Fish tool has also taken the details of the X originating IP address and it has given the corresponding email server for that. Here are some key indicators you should look for when trying to identify phishing emails. Going forward, I will be using this example for our phishing email analysis. First, uh, let's investigate the sender's address. Always check for inconsistencies in the email address such as uh, misspellings. So you can see here that the sender address is clearly misspelled. Unusual domain names. So this subdomain of googlecloud.com is also very suspicious and also check for a display name you can see that it's not exactly like netflix so this is another inconsistency in this email or next is the subject line be cautious of subject lines that convey a sense of urgency or require immediate action for example here your netflix account is on hold requires immediate action as you may not be able to use Netflix. This is a common phishing tactic and you should clearly look out for those. Next up is the uh, message content. Look out for uh, inconsistent grammar, spelling errors or unusual formatting which can be indicative of a phishing attempt. For example here, you can see that the grammar here is wrong. So this Y should be a small letter and Netflix wouldn't make such small mistakes. And you can also see a few uh, details that this does not exactly look like a Netflix sent email. Netflix sent email would be different. And it's asking you to update your payment details, which is again indicative of requiring your card uh, information for the same. Now let's go to links and attachments. Uh, you can actually hover over the links here to see if they actually lead to Netflix or not. But since this is Fish tool, it's not actually showing the link that it's leading to. But here you can go to message URLs and you can see that this is a t.co slash random path link and it has three virus total detections as well. Now we have to uh, look out for sensitive information requests. Let's limit organizations usually do not ask for your uh, sensitive information through email. Uh, for example, here you can see that please update your payment details is being requ requested by this email from Netflix. And this clearly a phishing attempt where they are trying to gather your financial information and use it for their malicious purposes. By familiarizing yourself with these indicators and staying vigilant, you can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to phishing attacks.